Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 20 online CFM game. We are now in week 13 of the 2020 season here in the Premier Madden League. Our Miami Dolphins had a bit of an early Thanksgiving feast last week against the Oakland Raiders. Derek Carr threw nine interceptions in that game. Two of those interceptions were by Minka Fitzpatrick. Both of those INTs returned for touchdowns. Thus, Minka Fitzpatrick, the reigning AFC Defensive Player of the Week. Also, Boston Scott had four rushing touchdowns in that game, over 150 rushing yards. And Boston Scott is starting to catch the eye of the coaches. So, he has a development upgrade on the line today. If Scott can get either 100 rushing yards or two touchdowns, any sort of touchdown, we can get Scott from normal to star. Not anything too flashy, but it's better than nothing for a man who started the season fourth on the running back depth chart and is now our starting running back. This stretch run of the 2020 season is going to be a very road heavy schedule for us. We play back to back NFC West opponents. In fact, the top two teams in the NFC West division, including the leading team in the division, the Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, their record is not impressive. It's a losing record, five and six. Their roster, not too impressive, but the West is weak this year and the Cardinals just so happen to be the best of the best. So it is going to be the battle of the leaders of the AFC East, the Miami Dolphins sitting at seven, seven and five and the Arizona Cardinals sitting at a five and six record on top of the NFC West. We are here in the desert starting off at the 20 yard line with Josh Rosen with time going downfield for Grant and that's intercepted. That's Hassan Reddick with the ball. Reddick on the return and and still fighting, Ruddick, wow, all the way to the 41 yard line, and this is the perfect start for this young Cardinals offense, a lot of youth, Kyler Murray, David Johnson, who is a couple of years in the league, but still, you know, somewhat of a young running back, and then you got the receiving core, Christian Kirk, Andy Isabella, and yeah, Jerry Judy out of Alabama, who is already a superstar X-Factor in this league, he was a superstar X-Factor coming out of the draft. So that's how much of an impact he can have on this game. But if you focus on Judy too much, Isabella and even the tight end Cameron Braid can get involved in the action. And oh yeah, Kyler Murray can scramble, but Murray doesn't get the first down. It's third and inches. David Johnson running into his own man, but is able to redirect himself to move the chains. The Cardinals in the red zone right away. They're taking advantage of the great field position that we gave them on the opening play, INT. And here's Benjamin trying to fight into the end zone gets a yard second down it's the fullback Trey Madden he gets a couple of yards still doesn't get in the end zone big third down and goal and it's gonna be a handoff to David Johnson who's got a wide open crease and he puts the Cardinals on top seven zero early in the first quarter now even though this is a battle of two division leaders Make no mistake about it, if the Cardinals win this game, even if it's at home, it's considered an upset considering the Dolphins are one of the top teams in the AFC Conference. Meanwhile, the Cardinals would not be in a playoff spot if they were in any other division. But you play with the hand that you were dealt. And right now we dealt ourselves a bad hand by trying to take a deep shot early on. We just got slowed this game down and oh yeah, try to get Boston Scott his 100 yards. That's a good start. That's 12. New set of downs. Blitz coming. And Rosen connects with C.D. Lamb. It's a C.D. T.D. to get things going. C.D. Lamb, of course, had the big touchdown, I believe, against the Los Angeles Rams. Had one on opening night against the Kansas City Chiefs. And now he gets an early touchdown against the Arizona Cardinals. The development of C.D. Lamb can definitely be key for our receiving core. And what is definitely a key for this defense, Raquan McMillan. Now a superstar making an impact getting a sack Murray nearly intercepted it's third down and 17 Murray only facing a three-man rush oh we try to step up but one of those three men that's Vic Beasley I believe is able to get the tackle it's technically not a sack it still ends the drive and that's good enough for me Nelson Aguilar has been relegated to kick and punt return duties of course Aguilar started the season number one on the running back depth chart and that's Colin Johnson's number one on the wide receiver depth chart but um yeah, Aguilar was supposed to be the Swiss Army knife. The wide receiver converted to running back. But, you know, 
he ha just hasn't really lived up to the hype. So we got to bring Boston Scott in. He is performing, and we just got to go with a man that performs right now. We need every single win we can possibly get in a very tight AFC East race between ourselves, the Buffalo Bills, and the New York Jets. As second down and 10, Boston Scott on the handoff. Scott with the first down, and he's able to fight for a couple extra yards. Early on, Boston Scott's looking good. He's looking great. He's looking well on his way to getting those 100 yards and getting himself a star development trait that's not a touchdown not both feet in bounds from colin johnson third down and three instead rosen oh a bit behind grant who can't make the catch fourth down and three and the offense is on the field are the dolphins gonna go for it they are they're looking to pass here's rosen queen pocket firing and that's incomplete turnover on downs in a big stand by the cardinals defense who definitely are playing with some juice early on in this game that was patrick peterson and shutting down Mohamed Sanu and this is going to be David Johnson despite Rayquan McMillan's efforts fighting for that first down. David Johnson's a big running back so you can definitely expect him to fall forward on a lot of these runs and David Johnson is truly a scary running back in Madden especially. Big running back who can move, he's got speed, so we got our hands full trying to contain this you know attack of David Johnson and Kyler Murray in the backfield. Early on, though, David Johnson, six rushes, 22 yards. We're doing all good. Second down and nine. No huddle for Kyler Murray. Nothing open. And Murray suddenly in trouble. Runs out of bounds and actually loses a yard, maybe two. Brings up a third down and 10. And Murray looking to pass. It's a clean pocket. But Murray, I don't know what in the world he just did. That was definitely intended for Jerry Judy. But that ball is about five, maybe 10 yards short. So just... A uh, mistake there from the sophomore quarterback who has been very mistake prone in this second season. He has more interceptions than touchdowns. And if we could force Kyler Murray into one of those mistakes, then hopefully that could be something that can kickstart our game. Because right now we are, you know, just kind of shooting ourselves in the foot. We threw the interception early on, trying to take the shot to Grant. We went for the fourth down rather than kicking the field goal. Second down and 13. Here is Nelson Aguilar out the backfield on the screen. This could be what gets the offense going instead even more oh no Aguilar fumbles the ball and the Cardinals take over with pretty decent field position and it's technically the third turnover for us already in this game if you count the turnover on downs and there Nelson Aguilar proving why he got benched as third down what a play by Jason Verrett Verrett was pretty silent in the first half of the season I must say we never really heard much of Jason Verrett which is not a bad thing for a cornerback right you don't want to hear a cornerback's name too much that means they're getting toasted sometimes oh Rosen oh no wow that was a near interception for I believe Buddha Baker Rosen misses the mark thankfully it's just incomplete and it's a third down and three big play here for Rosen he's got the time and he's got the man it's C D Lamb open once again back to the earlier point you know Jason Fred's definitely been making more plays for us and lately as you see Colin Johnson on the out route here is Jakeem Grant on the sweep he's got some blocks he's got the first and he's got a juke move off on Patrick Peterson out of the two minute warning the card or the Dolphins are on the move looking to grab the lead with any score that's a flag and that's got to be pass interference and it is Jordan Hicks definitely got a big time hold of Colin Johnson put us in the red zone here's Jakeem Grant oh Grant that was close at the one yard line Boston Scott in the game trying to get one of those two touchdowns necessary for the upgrade second down and goal Scott again and this time he's got the touchdown Boston Scott continuing to do his thing for the Dolphins and as we progress in this game maybe we might have to rely on Boston Scott as a necessity more than just something we want to do to get Boston Scott a development upgrade because he's having a lot of success against this Cardinals defense and with the way we're making mistakes and fumbling the ball and all that we might just need to calm things down as Kyle Murray audibling the offense here not much time left in this first half and a pretty conservative run called by the Cardinals and they are going to not even get the first down here but they do call timeout third down in inches Kyler looking to pass Kyler with the time rolling oh Kyler downfield he could have gotten the first down with his legs but he gets a lot more than that to Andy Isabella and the Cardinals in field goal range not anymore Malik Harrison as the Dolphins dial up the all-out blitz the rookie Harrison who has 
been good for at least a sack a game the last couple of weeks. Gets a key one there on Murray, and the Cardinals inexplicably do not call their final timeout and run the clock out to the end of the first half. Rather than, you know, calling that final timeout, trying to get something out of bounds or, you know, dialing up a Hail Mary, anything, they just concede. And very interesting considering they were just in field goal range. So second down and two to start the second half. Oh, through the hands of Baker. All of these Bakers out here are dropping surefire interceptions, but third down into Kyler trying to keep on the option, and Judon is there to contain. And here comes the punting unit. The defense is really doing their job since that opening drive. It's just that we need to get some points, you know, field goals, touchdowns, whatever it is. Try to get, you know, at least a two-possession lead, and hopefully I can put more pressure on the Cardinals rather than, you know, letting them relax and, you know, get into their flow. Second down here is Rosen! Oh, that's a dropped interception, and once again, it's Boone. To Baker. I actually tried to reroute Jakeem Grant upfield. I rerouted him the wrong way, I suppose, and we got away with one there. Third down. This is Rosen taking a shot. Nothing open and incomplete. And you can see there Rosen's, you know, immobility that somewhat cost us right there with a more mobile quarterback, <clears throat> Khalil Tate. We might have gotten the first down there. I know a lot of people would just be saying Khalil Tate when I say a more mobile quarterback, so. You know, something to keep in mind. Second down and one. David Johnson. Oh, he could have went all the way if he didn't trip. It's a first down, but it could have been so much more forward at Cardinals. We need to get something going at some point in this second half. At least get a couple of first downs to change the field position, which they're doing here. And oh my, they're going to get more than a first down. They're going to get all the way to the 28 yard line. Kyler's stat line, very unimpressive. But what the Cardinals are doing is just sticking in this game as an underdog. That's all you can do sometimes, you know, stick in it. Sometimes, you know, the quote unquote better team will shoot themselves in the foot. And if we are considered the better team, which I believe we should be, we are shooting ourselves in the foot right now. And here come the Arizona Cardinals. First down and goal. Benjamin up the middle and the rookies in the end zone and pending the PAT up and good. We are tied in the desert late in the third quarter. Remember, the Cardinals need every win possible to try to separate themselves in that NFC West. We have a lot on the line. We have a potential first round bye. We also can miss the playoffs completely, depending on how these next couple of games go. It's that drastic as here's Nelson Aguilar on the screen pass. And I don't know why we dialed up Aguilar's number after he fumbled the ball earlier, but he gets us a gain of two. Boston Scott back at it again. Boston Scott just inching closer and closer to that 100 yard performance going outside. Scott good for another seven, maybe eight yards, 16 yards away. And also one touchdown as we find Gesicki. I hit the wrong button right there. I meant to hit Jakeem Grant, but I mixed up the icons. Thankfully, we got away with that one so we can get the first down, so we can go downfield to Colin Johnson. Here come the Dolphins. What an answer by this offense after the defense gave up the game. Tying touchdown. Scott not able to go anywhere. Second down. Rosen middle. Ball in the air. And that's intercepted. And finally, it's Buddha Baker, the man who dropped two interceptions earlier in the game, finally snags one. And the Dolphins continue to shoot themselves in the foot this has all the makings of a cardinals victory just sticking in the game playing smart you know not turning the ball over the way the dolphins are who for the second time fold in the red zone and here we are tie game third down and seven big play by kyler murray despite all of this at some point you have to go out and win the game we will see if kyler murray and david johnson and jerry judy who has been silent in this game can get the job done it has been mainly a ground and pound attack for the dolphins but Murray is starting to make some reads against this defense. He's starting to connect some first downs, but that was not one of them. It's third and inches, and David Johnson, look at him run! Johnson all the way to the 32-yard line. The Cardinals enter field goal range to try to get the lead, but they may be getting bounced right back out. Major injury, Jerome Baker, the potential defensive player of the year candidate, is on the ground, and... Oh, man, we may lose this game and a lot more than that. Thankfully, Baker is okay. We're actually going to bring him in this game because we need Jerome Baker to make an impact play, especially on this third down and eight. Here is Murray feeling the pressure, and he steps in, throws, and gets the first down to David Johnson out the backfield. And the Cardinals are taking a lot of clock with them on this drive. Here is Murray standing tall. And that's going to be swatted by Bryce Hall. Great coverage there. Can Murray connect on one more third down play action? It's a screen to the left side. And Kirk cannot get away from Jerome Baker. Why would we risk Jerome Baker's health? That's exactly why. Oh, off the edge. It's blocked. The field goal is blocked and recovered by Miami. It's Thomas Graham, the rookie, off the edge, and we stay tied at 14 apiece with four minutes to go in Arizona. 
Second down and four for Rosen. The blitz is in. Rosen is down. Hassan Reddick, who had the interception to start the action, gets the sack third down and 14. And that is going to be incomplete. The Cardinals may not have gotten the lead on the previous drive, but they get one more chance due to the Dolphins' offensive inefficiency. So... Once again, we're right back to the point where can Kyler Murray and Jerry Judy and David Johnson connect some first downs? All they need is a field goal here. Not a lot of time left in this game. Murray across the body, and that is going to be incomplete. A very risky play. Third down and nine right before the two-minute warning. Here's Kyler taking off. Murray, he's got the first down. What poise from the sophomore quarterback. We're up the two-minute warning, and it's David Johnson with a big lane. David Johnson. Johnson! Oh, he's gone! They're down on the ground! David Johnson to give the Cardinals the lead with a minute 49 remaining! Fitzpatrick and Barry fell down! Partially because I might have dropped them down on the ground to get our offense back on the field. Not saying that we would have caught him if we tried to get him, but... Hey, man, let's get this offense on the field. We are down by seven. We have not scored in this second half, and we have just been making a ton of mistakes. But let's give Josh Rosen a chance here. Minute 45 and left, and just getting the pass off. Chandler Jones off the edge, applying the heat. A short gain of five, and the clock is running, so not a great start here. We do get a first down on the next play to Colin Johnson. And we're actually going to dial up Boston Scott's number. Boston Scott still needs to get those 100 yards. And at the very least, if we cannot win this game, I would at least like to get Boston Boston's got his development, and it might cost us in the process, because here we are running the ball on back-to-back -back plays. Boston Scott actually getting the first down and getting out of bounds, so not bad as we go back to the ground. Game, Aguilar. Oh, he might have had a major lane, but Reddick, who has been all over the field, making the big-time tackle now on the 45 seconds left in the game. No huddle for the Dolphins. Here's Rosen firing Grant. Can he get the first? Yes. Can he get out of bounds? Yes. 38 seconds left. Rosen with the ball once again, looking to pass with the time wide open. Gesicki and Gesicki's able to turn upfield all the way to the 28 yard line. And there goes the Dolphins' his first time out. Here we are running the ball yet again with Boston Scott. Oh, great Scott! He's gone! The Dolphins are in the end zone with 24 seconds left. And now the PAT by Joey Slide. That's a perfect kick. Up and good, and we are tied. 24 seconds left, and the way this game has gone, I wouldn't count as going to overtime just yet. The Cardinals fair catch the kickoff. They start at the 25-yard line once again. Just a few goals all they need as they get the screen pass off to David Johnson, who's got the first and goes out of bounds to stop the clock. The Cardinals have all three of their timeouts. Kyler Murray with the ball. No pressure underneath. He finds Isabella with the juke move. Trying to get out of bounds, but Jerome Baker able to keep him in. And the Cardinals waste an extra second or two before calling that timeout. Nine seconds left. Need about 20 yards again in the field goal range. And the Dolphins call a timeout. They set up a different defense. Cardinals call the same offense. Murray with the ball. Murray with the time. Oh, that's intercepted. That's for right with the ball. For right. Tackling at midfield. Two seconds left. And the Dolphins have a chance to win the game in regulation. It's going to be a Hail Mary from Josh Rosen. He's got the time. Does he have the arm? Downfield. Ball in the air. Oh, it's dropped. It is dropped. Just for a second, the Dolphins nearly stole the victory. But we're going to overtime. The duel in the desert is not over just yet. And the Dolphins win the coin toss. Our second overtime game of this CFF. Remember the last time we had an overtime game? It lasted exactly one offensive play. So we'll see if we can do something like that. At least you know, win the game somehow, some way. If we do manage to win this game, we would be stealing the victory. There is no question about it. So what does Josh Rosen have on the overtime stage? It starts with a grand catch. Oh, Grant. Look at him go. Big gain. Major gain. And he's gone. Chucky Grant wins it in overtime for the Miami Dolphins. Once again, a one play walk off for Miami. And like I just said, we have stolen the victory from Cliff Kingsbury and the Arizona Cardinals who played one heck of a game, had it won every which way, field goal blocked, 
go ahead touchdown denied by a Boston Scott electric touchdown with the spin move that had to be the touchdown run of the season so far for the Miami Dolphins it saved the game for the time being it got Boston Scott his development upgrade and allowed us to go to overtime and in one play Jakeem Grant did his thing cutting the grass a little bit scoring the touchdown winning the game I don't know what to say after a game like that man like you know, we had every reason to try to win the game in the first half, and we didn't put the Cardinals away. The Cardinals had every reason to win the game in the second half, and they just, for whatever reason, just could not close the door on us. We just scrapped, and we actually ended up, you know, winning another one of these close games that we probably should not have won, and that's been kind of a story of our season, especially earlier in the season when, you know, we barely beat the Browns, and we barely beat the 49ers. And, you know, that it prevented us from having a really bad start to the season. And since then, we kind of had our act together. But once again, this is one of these games where the Dolphins just somehow just snag a victory right underneath the grasp of an opponent. So the Cardinals dropped to 5-7. and seven. They're still on top of the NFC West. Meanwhile, for us, we are still on top of the AFC East with a win. But we're still neck and neck with the Buffalo Bills and the New York Jets. Boston Scott gets his development upgrade. And... We move on to next week's game against the Seattle Seahawks. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed what you guys saw. I don't know how you would not enjoy a game like that. Once again, shout out to my opponent, man. GG's. Subscribe for more Madden 20 gameplays, especially if you guys want to keep up with this Dolphins online CFM. As we get closer to the playoff picture, things are only getting crazier in the AFC Conference and the AFC East in general. So, you know, there's a lot still on the line. First round by, playoff spot, missing playoffs completely. So, yeah, you definitely want to stick around, see how it chase out, and I'll catch you guys next time.